Hi, welcome back to Craft Story Time with the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Maribel, and I hope you guys are doing well. My friends, what do you think our theme is this week? We'll give you some clues. These are the books we'll be reading. Have any ideas? What do you think? If you guessed kite, you're right. Our story theme for this week is kites. Are you guys ready for our first book? All right, so our first book is called Blue Sky Yellow Kite, and it was written by Janet A. Holm. Blue Sky Yellow Kite. The kite flits, darts, and flies, tail streamers soaring. Daisy looks up. She looks to where the kite line is coming from. She runs towards it, up the hill, down the hill, across the field to the big house at the edge of town. William is in the garden at the front of the house. He's holding the kite spool of string. Daisy watches through the fence. He opens the gate. Hello, he says, I'm William. He hands Daisy the spool. The kite tugs and pulls. Daisy laughs. William shows her how to steer the kite. It swishes and swirls, dives and zooms. He shows Daisy how to bring the kite closer. It flitters and flutters. He shows her how to send it up high and the kite soars and wheels. Daisy runs with the kite. She runs through the gate, across the field, up the hill, down the hill, watching the kite dance through the sky all the way. She does not look back once. Uh oh, she took the kite without asking. At home, she puts the kite away. She puts it where no one will find it. Daisy looks at the kite every day, but she does not fly it. She must be feeling a little bit guilty. Until one day she can know she can wait no more. She takes the kite to the hill. She lets out some line and runs. When she feels the kite catch the breeze, she releases it up, up, and away. She sees William watching. He looks at her for a moment. He turns and he walks away. I think he must be disappointed that she took it. Daisy keeps flying the kite. It pulls hard away from her. She yanks it back and it crashes to the ground. Daisy takes the kite home. She puts it back in its hiding place. She lies awake all night. I think she felt bad, right, that she took it and he saw her. When the sun comes up, Daisy takes the kite out of its hiding place. She runs to the big house. There is no one in the garden. She rests the kite against the mailbox. She picks up the stick and writes in the sand on the path. It says, sorry. She walks back across the field. She walks back across the field and up the hill and down the hill. That afternoon, there is something flittering in the sky. It is yellow. It's coming over the hill towards her. William is holding the spool and he's carrying a pot. What could it be? What do you guys think? He sits down beside Daisy and opens the box. He pulls out some paper and glue, some ribbon and line. Which color? He asks. Daisy points to red. William measures and cuts. Daisy stretches and pastes and ties. Together, they make a new kite. Then they run to the hill. Blue sky, yellow kite, red kite dancing. The end. Wasn't that so nice? He wasn't really still mad at her for taking the kite and he was nice enough to make her own kite so she could have one to play for herself. That was really nice. All right, my friends, our next book is called Kite Day, a bear and mole story. And it is written by Willen, Will Hillenbrand. Bear 
looked at the sky. Could it be, he wondered? He tilted his head up. He smiled and shouted, Kite day! Bear rushed home. Huff, puff, huff, puff. Come on, Bear waved to Mole. Kite day is here. Bear collected. Mole studied. Bear snatched. Bear measured and cut. Mole drew. They both constructed. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew, zoom, zoom, zoom. It soared up, up, up. Then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Uh-oh, looks like a storm. The breeze grew into a gust and snap. The kite string broke. Oh no, they worked so hard on it. Away, 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 spun the kite. screamed Mole and Bear. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Save that kite, shouted Mole, and the two ran. Hurry, 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 urged Bear. Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the broken kite. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirp, 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 squeaked the little chicks. Thank you, sang Mother Bird. Ah, their broken kite helped protect baby birds from the rain. The end. Yay! Good job, friends. Our last book is called Stuck, and it's by Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. That's pretty smart, right? Climb the tree and get it out. And up he threw it. Oh my goodness. I'm sure you can guess what happened. It got stuck. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, that bucket of paint got stuck. Darn. Then Floyd tried a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, and Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. Oh my goodness. What else? The family car to knock down their front door. The milkman to knock down the family car. And orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros. And the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street, and a curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. Oh my God, what else? Oh, and they all got stuck. Can you believe that? 
That's a lot of stuff stuck on a tree. The fire engine was passing and heard the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. Can we help? Oh, yay! And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. Oh my god, is that not silly? They could have just used a fire ladder to get all that stuff down. Instead, they got thrown into the tree too. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and he went to find a saw. He lined it up as best he could, and hurled it up the tree. Oh my gosh, can you guys believe that? That is so silly. He could have used the saw to cut down the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he had forgotten. What could he have forgotten, guys? Oh my goodness, all the people and stuff stuck in the tree. The fireman says, hang on a minute, lads. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. <laughs> the end. All right, my friends. So for this um, craft, we're going to make a kite. Are you guys ready? All right. Let's go. All right, guys, so for this craft, you'll need this kite template and I will upload this um, template um, to in the description box with the link to where this Google folder is, where the all the templates are in the past and current crafts that I've done. So you'll need um, this kite template, about three straws, some string, some uh, streamer string and you can use um, ribbon if you have it or little strips of tissue paper or anything that's light enough to like um, blow in the wind. Markers or crayons or color pencils, tape and scissors and possibly glue stick. You might not need it but you might so we'll hold on to this. All right so what we're making again is a kite and the first thing we want to do is we want to color our kite. So let's go ahead and do that first. And for me, I think I'll just do a two-tone color kite. And so I'll probably speed through this because it's gonna take a while. It's okay if you go a little bit out of the line because um, we're going to cut it out so it doesn't really matter if you go slightly out of the line. So next what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our kite and our little um, bows that are going to go on the tail. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, and when it comes to this, be super careful not to cut through it because I know people are tempted to cut like this and then they're gonna cut, you know, they're gonna end up cutting through here and we don't want that. So leave a little bit open space so you kind of turn away from the middle and then cut so that your little bows end up intact. Otherwise, if you cut through it, 
you're they're basically done so again we just want to go like this and cut a little bit away from them and then you'll have them intact and you'll do the same for the other three All right, so now we got our little bows and our kite. The next thing we want to do is flip it over and we're going to use our straw to stabilize our kite. So this one's slightly too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it to shape. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape it. I think I cut this slice on this piece of tape too long. You just need a small piece of tape. Okay, and then we want to secure the ends of our straw on our kite. Okay, and then we want to secure our other end. Make sure it's on there really good. Just on the edge. We don't want to um, put any here in the middle, too close to the middle, because then it won't allow it to bend the way we'll need it in the wind. And if there's any extra little pieces of tape, we'll just cut that off with our scissors. Okay, next we're going to grab uh, two straws because one is not long enough, as you can see, um, for the middle. So we'll need to, what we're going to do is pinch, you can see, just pinch the end and bend it like this so it's smaller. And then we're going to put that end into the straw and that'll get you a connected straw. So then what we want to do is measure out how long we need our straw. And so I'm going to clip it about around here. I'll cut that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tape the ends. So we'll grab a piece of tape and we'll tape the ends. Make sure our straw is centered in the middle. Oh, and then this side. This one's a little off. I'm going to redo this. Okay. Okay, so once that's taped down, same thing if you have any um, leftover tape, we want to just trim that off. Same on the top. Go ahead and trim the extra off. All right. An extra little piece on this top one. All right. Or you could also just bend it over to the front, either way. All right, so now we have that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some string. And that's the string you're gonna be holding it with. So it's up to you how long you want it. 
I'm going to probably, you could do it anywhere, probably about two feet would be good. And then you're going to take one end of it and you're going to put it under both straws. You're going to loop it again under both straws. Pull the straws up and loop it under. And again. Then you're going to loop it this way and under both straws. And we're going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to pull this one a little bit because we need a long end. And then we're going to loop it again. Okay. And then you're going to loop it again under both straws. There you go. So it looks like a little cross. All right. And then I'm going to loop it again under and then pull it out right here on the left. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot. And then I'm going to knot it again. All right. So once you have your knot, just like that, you can cut off that little excess piece. Okay. And that'll be the string that you fly your kite with. Now for the tail, this is where the streamer comes in or whatever you've decided to um, use. I don't want such a long tail, so I'm going to do about mm, a foot and a half or so of this. Cut it and then we're going to tape it onto this straw, the bottom straw, because that's what the little tail is going to be. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to grab another piece of tape. And I'm going to tape this streamer onto the bottom straw. Just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna again cut the extra piece of tapes off, the extra piece of tape off. Just like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is grab the little um, bows that I have and we're going to glue them like this. And we're going to glue it on this dreamer. So back to back. So this is where we would grab our glue stick. And we want to put glue here, right in the middle, and off to this side. Same thing over here, put glue on the ends, right there in the middle, and then on the end. Then you place it anywhere on the string. I'm going to place one here. mine right there and then farther down on the string I'm going to glue this one so I'm going to grab my glue stick again and put glue right there right in the middle and then some on the end same thing with my red one the other side glue on one end in the middle because that'll hold the streamer in place and then on the end and I'm going to place this one slightly lower over here on the tail and then I'm going to grab the red connect it on this side and oh, I missed there we go 
try again. There we go. I want the slower on the tail. I'm going to put it right here. And put pressure. There we go. And so, this is how our kite looks. So here is the string that you will fly your kite with. And you pull on it, and then this is what it'll look like. And then here's its little tail that will be swinging. So this is what our kite looks like, and here's the string. And this is just an example. You can paint a pic, you can draw a picture, color a picture on there. You can do whatever you like. This is just kind of an easy, basic thing um, designed for me. But um, you guys can go crazy with it. It's your kite. You guys can decide what to do. If you like this um, craft, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check our other videos on our channel. And if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and do that and hit the bell notification too. That'll let you know each time we upload a new video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this craft. Stay safe. Till next time. Bye.